Hello, everyone. I'm Mario Plario from NBC10. Welcome to Mmm, a food podcast, the place you can come to hear all about the great things happening on the local food scene, the wonderful restaurants we have, the great local companies making delicious food products, the fun community events that highlight local cuisine. Joining me now are Sasha Goldman and Chelsea Morrissey, the owners of Wedge, a cheese shop in Rhode Island. So thank you both for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Um, first, tell me how you guys kind of got started, because you this is a first for you, I guess. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we. Um, I moved to um, Rhode Island uh, about two and a half years ago during the summer, the pandemic summer. Um, and Chelsea and I met through our kids. We both have daughters. And um, we just sort of bonded over talking about how we couldn't really find the ingredients we were looking for to make cheese boards and things like that at home and thought it would be a fun adventure. Uh -huh. Interesting. And what's yeah. your background, Chelsea? So my background is in marketing business. So I'm currently um, working as a director of strategy at Hasbro. Mm. Um, so yeah, I love marketing. I went to school for entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship. So I'm really excited about kind of starting my own business, which is really cool. Yeah. So this is good. So you have a, your built in uh, in-house marketing, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you guys decided like, hey, we need a, a, we couldn't find a place to find good cheeses. Mm -hmm, right. And how did you go about to like starting this business? We seriously had to start from the very beginning. We had no idea how to do any of this stuff. So we just did a lot of online research. We, we took a little road trip and um, visited some you know, cheese and chocolate makers. Then we also did another trip where we visited some other businesses to see how they do things. Um, and just kind of took it from there. Yeah, I think um, we had the idea, but we didn't have the location. And so this really wouldn't have come about in the, if we hadn't found the beautiful location that we are in right now. Um, it's on Water Street in Warren. Um, it's going to be right next to where Chomp, the new Chomp Burger um, restaurant is, and also Cafe Water Street. So right on the water, it's a beautiful spot. It's the perfect size. So it was really, I think, because we found the perfect location that we were able to do yeah, it. Yeah, we just had to do it. That's great. And you yeah. guys are brand new, huh? Yeah, we opened yeah. just before, we got right in under the wire right before Christmas. We were finally able to open, so. That's great. What's it been like so far? <laughs> a whirlwind. Yeah, it's really busy, um, especially around Christmas. It was, it slowed down a little bit beginning of January, but now it's picked back up again, and everyone's just so warm and warm, so welcoming, just so excited yeah, for us to be there. It's a really, really cool small business community in Warren, and everyone's really supportive of each other. It's it's been really fun. Yeah, I think so many small businesses in, in Rhode Island realize what a great support system they have in the yeah. community with fellow small businesses, and I'm sure you're already probably building a loyal customer base. Yeah, uh, yeah, we already have yeah. regulars, which is so nice. Yeah, there's some people that have been in four or five times already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're they're just so excited. It's it's really awesome. Yeah. So you're in our studio now, but set the stage. Like, what's your shop like when you walk in the door? Um, when you walk in, we have, looking straight ahead, um, we have two really large cheese cases. Mm. So we stock those with about 50 cheeses at any given time. So there's some that are our staples. We're always going to have them. And then we switch it out and we always try to have new things. Um, and then we have a little case with our all our charcuterie items and then we have a little nook we call the treat yourself nook where we have <laughs> where we have lots of chocolates and cookies and um, biscuits and fun stuff like that and um, we sample everything every day so oh, that's a tough job right it is tough <laughs> it is tough and we put stuff out there you can come in and ask to try anything we will gladly open anything and let you try it oh cool yeah yeah, this place is really unique to us. Um, it used to be a jewelry store, so we completely renovated. We put in new floors, so they're really beautiful floors. We have really beautiful um, shelving units. Like everything is what like we handpicked everything. Um, we made our logo um, the way we liked it. We sourced it, crowdsourced it. So everything really kind of has a personal touch in there, um, and it looks completely different. Yeah, we like took a lot of care in each sort of decision, and so we feel really good about the way we're presenting things. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you personally must be cheese lovers, right? Because you want to get yes, into this. Yes. Yeah. Did you learn a lot more about cheese than you oh, ever really so thought? So much more. It's a whole world out there that we didn't even know about. I mean, cheese people <laughs> are really, they're really fun. They're really friendly, really welcoming, but it's like a crazy amount of knowledge out there yeah, that we didn't even, passionate. we've just, we've just scratched the surface with it. There's so much to know. Yeah. yeah. And we're learning every day as we're like new cheeses will come in. We're tasting them for the first time, you know, yeah. where our customers are. It's just, we're kind of on this journey with our customers, which is really fun. Yeah. We always ask everyone, if you like something that you don't see, write it down. We give them a post-it note. 
and then we try to source it and, and get it for them. Yeah, and where do you um, source like your cheese from? You, is it local? How far do you go out? We, we do have a lot of local. We try to, to concentrate on New England and Northeastern cheeses. We try to have a lot of smaller makers of both our cheeses, our charcuterie, our chocolate, so things you're not gonna find in a big store. Um, and we support a lot of women-owned companies. That's really important to us. Um, but then we also have some further afield makers. So we have some Midwestern. We have a few favorites that we feel are worth importing. So, you know, everyone's always going to want, like, you know, an excellent Parmesan. So we always have that. We have some Alpine cheeses rolled in, in Alpine flowers, really special things that um, we feel like are, are worth getting. Mm. What's kind of like the either the most popular or kind of the most common kind of cheese that people will tend to want from you? Yeah, I think I'm surprised at how many people want Gouda. Oh. Yeah, so we have three different kinds of Gouda, and actually, I didn't realize how much I love Gouda until we got yeah. all these different Same. kinds. Um, there's definitely like the guys that come in that just want a cheddar, so we have yeah. like two or three kinds spicy of spicy cheddar. cheddar. Yeah, that's a thing, um, definitely. And I'm surprised also. There's so many people that want to take a, a chance and do something adventurous. Yeah, people are pretty um, adventurous. There's some really funky cheeses out there and people are just loving it. Um, also truffles, like- Oh, truffles truffle are huge, honey, yeah, truffle yeah. Truffle cheese, tr truffle Romano. People are, like die over truffle. Yeah, oh, like, wow. yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's really interesting, yeah. it's more than I ever expected. Yeah, I was <laughs> yeah. gonna ask you, is there, what's kind of like the, either the most exotic or strangest like cheese that you've learned about yeah. so far? Well, we have one um, cheese that we got in pretty recently that's very cool. It's from a really small maker in Maine. Her name is Lakin's Gorges, and it's um, it's got seaweed in it. Ooh. So it's a bloomy rind soft cheese, and her dairy farm is right on the water, and so she harvests seaweed right there. And it's like a stripe of seaweed goes down the center of the cheese. It's, it's very cool. It's like a briny flavor. It mm. looks cool when you cut it open. Mm -hmm. Um, and people have been really into it, so it's it's cool. Yeah, it's amazing how many different types of cheeses there are out there, huh? Yeah, it's unbelievable. So many. Yeah. yeah. Um, and in terms of uh, what you offer people, do you just offer them, um, they buy the cheese themselves? Do you actually put things together for them? We do them? both. Yeah, so okay. you can come in and we'll help guide you to, to choose different things. You can put it together at home. We do um, boards, so we do you know large boards that feed 20 to 25 people. Um, and then, you know, we can do different size, you know, smaller ones. We do dessert boards. So if you're going to someone's house and you want to bring something maybe a little more exciting than, you know, some cupcakes or brownies, we can help put together a specialty dessert board. So it's going to have um, chocolates and cookies and crumbled Gouda and uh, maybe a fresh chev rolled in local flower petals. And we put it all together for you. Um, so. We also do seasonal things, so we're putting together Valentine's uh, charcuterie boards right now, things for the Super Bowl, and then you know as summer rolls around, we'll be kind of adapting everything for the for the fresh fruit and all the fresh produce in the area. Yeah, and like you said, you have your staples that you have all the time, and then you try to like change things up, I guess. Yeah, we want people to come in and always find new things and have it kind of be like a fun place where you where you discover new things and try things and you know an experience, not just a place to get an errand done, but a place to have fun. Yeah, nice. And um, I know you, you had uh, a have, uh, which you brought in, a cool, what's that chocolate thing that you brought in? Oh, yeah, <laughs> hot chocolate on a stick yeah. is very popular. Yeah, it's really is, fun. Is it literally hot chocolate on a stick? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you take warm milk and you just swirl it around and it just gets chocolatier and chocolatier as you spin it around. It tastes just like hot chocolate, but better. It's like on steroids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's delicious. There's like all different Super flavors. Super chocolatey, yeah. 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 Now I know everything is, um, you know, based on people's individual taste, but when you like are putting together a board for someone or, and, and they asking your advice, like what are the good combinations of different like cheeses? Yeah. Well, you know, we'll, we'll usually put some sort of a cheddar on there. Um, and then we'll always have a soft cheese, whether that's like a brie or a camembert or, um, you know, a soft goat cheese. And then we usually do some sort of alpine style cheese. And then from there, we kind of shake it up and see what people like. And mm -hmm. we, you know, we usually do like a, we, we like to do like a local salami. There's some, there's some great charcuterie makers right here in Rhode Island. So we like to highlight them. Mm -hmm. Um, we also have some prosciutto that's aged right here in Rhode Island, so we'll include that sometimes. Mm -hmm. We like to ask them, too, how adventurous they are, how adventurous their guests are. So we'd love to put a blue cheese on there, but if a lot of people are just no blue cheese, which is fine. Um, so we, we like to kind of feel them out first to see um, yeah. what their palate's going to be like. Yeah, yeah. 
and um, maybe kind of say, hey, you know, try to get them to be a little more adventurous, right. maybe. And yeah, 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 because the more we can kind of stretch their palates and you know experience, the more they'll enjoy it, and the more they'll want to come back and be happy with what we gave them. Yeah, that's great. All right, yeah, I know you brought in some samples for me, yes. which I appreciate as always. So let's start with, um, this okay. looks like. Yes, this is a favorite of ours yeah, and in the favorite in the shop. The, um, I actually visited her over the summer. Her name is Amy and she's at Crooked Face Creamery and um, she makes this um, cold smoked ricotta. She calls it up north mm -hmm. ricotta. Um, it's, I think a lot of people think of ricotta kind of how you would buy it in the grocery store in like a big tub a big and tub, you just yeah. like spoon it out. This is a pressed ricotta so you can, you can eat it in so many different ways. This is, um, we just dolloped it on some toast and we drizzled it with a little local honey we got right from um, Barrington. Mm. Um, but you could also cook with it, like you could add it to a pasta sauce, it would be delicious. It oh, has this yeah. like subtle smoky flavor, it's so good. Mm, I'll try that, should I do it with the honey? Yeah, drizzle a little yeah, honey, a little honey, honey on, there. on there. And even the honey's local too, Yeah, huh? the honey we, we get from our friend Blakely right in Barrington. Mm, I'm gonna try this. Mmm. Isn't it good? It's really good. Yeah, it's so creamy and smoky. Creamy and yeah, smoky. People will see that we have the samples um, on Instagram and they'll come in specifically Just to get it. To yeah. at the ricotta. Yeah. And we sell out every week. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we also, we've one. also been stocking her butter, which is a smoked butter. It's also really delicious. Mm, I love anything smoked, so. Yeah. Um, and what is this one here? Um, that's the Woman Shago from Cato Corner in Connecticut. Uh -huh. It's their take on a, a Spanish Manchego, mm -hmm. which is a pretty well-known cheese. Yeah, that's I've had made, Manchego before. Yeah, it's made with an, an aged sheep's milk. Um, this is made with a raw cow's milk, um, so it's their kind of take on it. Um, and mm -hmm. it, it's kind of nutty, and um, it's really good. It's basically universally loved. Mm. I love the. I love a good play on words, so yeah. Manchego, woman yes, Chego. Yeah. And we like to dollop it also with this um, preserve from Blake Hill in Vermont. It's a strawberry rhubarb, and just kind of bright and summery and delicious. Mm. That is really good. Yeah. It's got a nice, I like that flavor of that. I don't know if bite's the right word, but it's got a yeah, good. Yeah, it's got a good bite, I agree, mm. yeah. Yeah, and where'd you say this was from? That's this? from Blake Hill in Vermont, and they do, uh, they have so many different varieties of preserves, and they're all preserves, so good. Preserves, yeah. yeah. And it, it's good, yeah, I mean, you can either have the cheese by itself, you can use these, you yeah. know, preserve the thing. Yeah. This looks like a brie, what is this? Yeah, it's um, it's from Mystic Cheese Company in Connecticut. It's called Melinda May, um, and they actually get the milk for this particular cheese from Emma Acres, which is a farm right here in Rhode Island. Ooh, that's cool. So very local, huh? Very local, yeah. Sure. Super creamy, buttery. Mm, let me try that. We put it on a little matzah chip, an everything matzah chip. That's it's also a bestseller for us. Yeah. Mm. Yep. This so creamy. Mm-hmm. So good. So good, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so do you guys, when you find when you find a cheese you're interested in, do you like actually go and like track it down? Like go to these places? You some, some of them fun? we have, yeah, the ones that, that we <laughs> that can are close by. Close yeah. by. Yeah, yeah, it's really fun to meet yeah. everyone there. Yeah. Just build that relationship. Has it been fun like researching all the different Oh, it's types so of fun. Yeah. 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 You couldn't ask for a better yeah. little shop project. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's yeah, been it's really fun. everything is, yeah. yeah. And sourcing things to the shop, I mean, it's, it's so fun. It's, you know, shopping for your favorite things mm -hmm. for your job. It's exactly, awesome. yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you're learning about the farms and the farmers and the cows. You know, you yeah. learn their names. And yeah. it's just a very sweet, you know, like, connection that you get with them. Yeah. Um, and it gives a story for us to tell to our customers. Yeah, and people love to hear the stories. And yeah. Yeah. It's just fun to work with people who just care about what they do so much. Exactly, yeah. Like you two. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell just from the short time we've been talking. Well, this is great. So... Um, again, how can folks find you? Where's your physical location? And then also any online presence you have? Yep, so we're at 279 mm -hmm. Water Street in Warren, Rhode Island. Um, that's our physical location. We're also at wedgeri.com. That's our site where you can order charcuterie boards and merchandise. And then at Wedge Rhode Island is our handle for um, Instagram and Facebook. Awesome, excellent, excellent, excellent. And. Um, in terms of how much lead time people need if they want to order stuff from you? Is it depend? If you want to order a board, um, I would say let us know the day before. That's usually safest. Um, if it's a day when we have some time, then if you get your order in in the morning, we can sometimes have it ready by close. But yeah. day before is preferred. Yeah. Oh. If you have yeah. a cheese emergency, we can yeah. help you out. <laughs> we, we have <laughs> had some cheese away. emergencies. Ooh. We've, we've had okay. people like banging on the door as we're closing, like, in a tizzy on their way to a dinner party and like 
we're not going to leave you hanging. We're going to help you out. The cheese doctors are here for yes. you. Yes, yes, we are here for you and all your cheese needs. That is great. All right. Sasha and Chelsea, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, check them out. Wedge in Warren. Uh, their cheeses are delicious, and they'll make you go, Mmm.